Hey, what is up, everybody? My name is Boss, and you guys are watching Bot Bot 101. Let's go! <laughs> So in today's video, I am not going to be playing a game actually, I am going to do my first reaction video in this game, and uh, what I'm going to be reacting to is like, uh, ads versus reality. Like it's showing how cruel the people can advertise something, and then as soon as it arrives, as soon as you get it, as soon as you unpack it, it's completely different what you get in the, in the packaging. And if that has happened to you before, leave a comment down below, tell me what happened to you, like, what did you order, and what came. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit the like button down below, don't forget to hit subscribe, and turn on bell icons for notifications. Now we're done with that, let's get on to the video. Okay, so here's number one, it's titled as, I'm too lucky to receive the right one. Nice. I, I, I'm, what even is that? Well, I mean, look, look at the advertisement on the, for me, it's going to be on the left. I mean, look at that. It looks like a nice, beautiful bouquet of flowers with a ribbon on top. And the white flowers with little, you know, those Christmas decorative bulbs, whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called. I don't celebrate Christmas. But the roses and the white flowers, and then there's this, bow on top and then that I mean there's not even much I can say about that it, it, it just looks like they pulled out some plants and put it in a box and then they just threw two roses and they just you know those uh, 99 cent uh, uh, bow tops that you get not bow tops, bow tops that you get. They just stack that on top, and it said it lo looks like how much? Thirty-five dollar? It looks like thirty-five dollar. I don't know how much that is, but that is a complete ripoff. Okay, let, let's move on to the next one. Okay, this one is this gave this gave made make me speechless. Oh hey. That line is kind of disturbing. And then they have this Cool Jack's handcrafted cookie plus ice cream with the soup with what what uh, is 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 that the product? It looks nothing like it does on the packaging. I mean, if you look at the packaging, you get those M and M cookies with nice vanilla ice cream and <laughs> a cookie at the bottom but if you look at that it looks like they just took two cookies and they that doesn't that looks like a hockey puck that legit looks like a hockey that don't even look like ice cream it looks like they just took two cookies and they put a hockey puck in between and they were like hmm this looks fine no it's not fine this is this is completely off the chart weird next I asked my friend if they could help me with the decorations and this is what I got <laughs> so on the left is the decoration that he had in plan and on the right is well I can't actually blame the advertisement Unless that's as many as balloons as they got in the advertisement. I would actually blame it on his friend. Because I've decorated for celebrations, right? And the problem with these types of balloons is that when you blow it and they are exposed to too much light, then they just pop. So I could understand if the balloons start popping and you only have these many left. But if they gave you that many, and like in the advertisement they're showing that big ass banner with like balloons everywhere and you got different colorful balloons that are connected and joined together and then they just give you three six nine balloons that's a ripoff that's like a big ass ripoff I'm not expecting that to happen that's kind of like that's that's not good moving on to the next one didn't know that vampire blood could be this clear 
Okay. So here's a bottle of... Is that... What is... First of all, why is vampire blood coming in a squirt bottle? Or like a soap dispensing squirt bottle. That's my first question. Second question, true, that looks like clear sanitizer to me. What is this? It says gentle gel hand... I, I can't read that. It, it, I, I think this is like a, a soap. It, uh, like, I, I can't actually call this wrong, okay? Uh, the bottle is red, but if it's soap, I'm not... I, I, I've seen colorful soap, but I don't think anybody... I, I've never seen red soap. So, I'm not sure. Maybe this is just like your misconception. Maybe they're advertising the entire like a, a Halloween themed bottle, but their soap is clear. So, I, I, I personally will not call this wrong. I know it's like supposed to be 18 cruel type people in the world who don't follow their advertisement, but it's a soap bottle. So, I, I, I don't agree with this one. My own opinion. What we expected versus what we got. New Cheetos wings and cheese bites. No! God, please, no! 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 On the packaging, it looks very nice. On the other side, it looks like... It, it, it straight off looks like... Uh... It, I don't even want to say it. it's food. It, it's food. I don't want to disrespect the food, but it, it, it just looks like someone put pieces of chicken and it, someone vomited the rest of the Cheeto filling on top. That does not look appetizing at all. I would never want to eat that if someone put that in front of me. I would probably, probably I'll eat it, but I would just scrape the things on top off. I wouldn't touch it, no matter what. It's the same, I promise. So on top we have like uh, a, uh, a house, I actually don't understand what this is. It's a house with a porch, it looks like those houses that you could move from place to place. Like no it's not a trailer, what does that work? No it's not a trailer. And then, what? I don't understand this one. If you guys understand what this is, please, if anybody understands what this thing is, I don't understand the before and after picture. I'm not, I, like, did it fold into back to being into a trailer? Uh, like, or does it unfold? Or, like, I, I don't understand. I don't get what's wrong with it either. If it unfolds, that's kind of awesome. Like, imagine taking this everywhere. You don't need you, need you don't need to buy land anymore. Just like fold it up, take it, go wherever you want, unfold it. You're living there now. You could live anywhere you want if you have something like this. I don't get what's wrong with it. If you guys understand what's wrong with this, please tell me down in the comments below. I am completely blank on this one. Like, I I, I really don't get it. Is it the same? Are they talking about the place? Are they talking about the thing itself? I'm not sure. Anyway. I missed my exit for Spooky Town, and now I'm in Horrorville. So on top, there are nail paints with like ghosts and those type of stuff on. Oh my God! What in the world? Like on top, it looks like yeah, you know those party type girls who are like oh I'm going to a, a Halloween party, so I want to have like a festive nails and all that. But at the bottom, it looks like something popped out of a horror movie. That is scary. Even like the eyes drizzling and it's pff, disturbing. Not, not, no more comments on this one. That's not even advertised. This is ju just, this, this is, wait. This apostrophe S. I'm not sure you could write that. I'm not sure you could put this apostrophe S. Like, how are you going to pronounce it? This, this, this. How would I pronounce that? Anyway, the product on the left, we have a bear. I think it's like a cake. 
that says Amy on it. Like it's a birthday bear, you know those uh, pre-ordered birthday cakes that you could make any design you want. And on the left, they gave, they gave you the advertisement that, yeah, we can make this bear. Yeah, this one that right here. And then on the right is the bear. Like, if you can't make it, don't display it on your card. I've never had something like this happen to me, but that is kind of upsetting. Uh, it says the number three. It's probably someone's third birthday. And they wanted a yellow teddy bear with a festive blower in their mouth and a hat that said three on it. And you didn't even give the thing a hat. There's no hat there. There's That's not even a bear. That's like you just put frosting and threw three dots of yellow icing saying, oh, I turned it into a bear. No, that is not a bear. That doesn't even look like an animal. That looks like you just threw eyes on a cake with a blue nose and tongue and put the number three. The least you could have done, like, you know, for resemblance, put a hat on it. It has a nice hat over there. And then you have that. Like, what are you trying to do? You just ruined a three-year-old three kid's birthday like that. How disrespectful can you? upsetting the feeling when I open it deep river snacks miss I miss miss cute miss quiet m e s q u i t e q u i t e is like quiet quit quiet quiet miss quiet barbecue and the frick is that that doesn't even look like chips why are they stick together like that? Like, did you fry it wrong? What? It looks like a piece of chicken. Like, they just straight up threw a piece of chicken inside. I, I don't get why this could go wrong. Best Buy Jan 1722. What? This expired in 1722? Then I could understand why that happened. If that's from 1722 and you get that, well, it's your fault. Read the packaging. See what's Best Buy before. And it also gives the timestamp, Best Buy Jan 1722. I can't read what it says. And then it says 526 p.m. I mean, like, what you doing? My chicken sandwich. What the? I'm not gonna lie, that chicken does look kinda appetizing. But when I order a chicken sandwich, I'm expecting no bone. <laughs> you straight up, that... What type of chicken is that? Why does that look like a lamb's leg? It don't look like a drumstick even. No, wait, it, it is a drumstick. My bad. It's a drumstick and like a, a chest piece right there. And he straight up didn't he... Oh. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No. No, that's disrespectful. The least that you could have done when giving me a chicken sandwich is you could have at least toasted the bread. Toast the bread, I'll put the mayo, I'll put the mustard, I'll put the ketchup in by myself. But you don't toast my bread, then I'm going to kill you. That's all I need when I want a sandwich. I need my bread toasted. That's disrespectful. That's that's number one thing when you're working in a food joint and someone asks you for a chicken sandwich. I don't care about the chicken that you gave him. I don't care about the separate mustard and ketchup that you gave him. I don't even care about the fact that you gave him a ketchup in like a french fry box you know the one where you dip the french fries inside like what is he supposed to do open it and drop it on top the packages are easy like you rip it open and you squirt it on top but for that you drop it and sometimes the container is so bad that you turn it and it starts dribbling over inside and you drop it everywhere and it gets messed i don't even care about that but the least you could do if you have courtesy is at least toast those bread Hashtag toast those breads.
I'm about to cry. Okay, so do the core Alaska pocket fillet ratatouille. Oh, the packet. The packaging looks delicious. I mean, look at that. It looks like a nice piece of bread, bun, puff pastry, whatever the hell it is. And on top, you get that nice sauce with the vegetables. And then on the bottom, it looks like you have a stale rum cake from Christmas that was passed three years ago. It doesn't even look like a pocket fillet. It doesn't even look like a pocket. It looks like a brick in its mold. You hit that on someone's head, you fling it at someone, you could rip their skull open. That's how dangerous that thing. That's not a, that's not a food item, that's a weapon. You take this outside and a police officer sees you, you're going to jail quicker than anybody else. You can't even imagine what that looks like. You, look, you, you could just clock someone upside the head and they'll be confused for two minutes like, did you hit me with a brick or did you hit me with like a pocket fillet? And it's from Alaska too. Couldn't ask for more. Okay. Garlic naan. $3.25. That's expensive. Onion green chili salad. And it's circle. Where's the salad? That. What? 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 What the fuck? Where's. It says. Onion green chili salad for two dollars and fifteen cents. Sliced onions with a lemon slice and green. Ch There's not even a lemon slice there. And what's upsetting? It says ordered before. So either that person ordered it one time before and got the proper thing, or he ordered it again to take a picture of, which is. I don't understand why but first of all my question is to whoever is selling these items like I ordered an onion green chili salad I did not order an onion to be chopped in like five slices and two green chilies inside of a styrofoam box what am I supposed to do with that you can't even eat those onions right you straight up can't eat them cuz they're gonna be so bitter and so disgusting as soon as you bite into them like I, 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 do they even know what a salad is? What the purpose of a salad? You're not even supposed to have that much onion inside of that bowl of salad. That's too much. And like, what am I supposed to? Do? What are you even supposed to do with the green chili? You didn't even, you didn't even chop them. Like, at least cut them up, mix them together, put a little salt, a little black pepper, a little dash of lemon you even said lemon slice but there's no damn lemon inside of the styrofoam box i do not know why why people would go to this extent like and it's stuff that's ordered before right so that means people have ordered this do you not care for your like fast food or what food court reputation of what people are gonna think if you just straight up gave an onion in a box like here here's uh, uh, sir what would you like to order uh, yeah, I would like to order uh, the onion green chili salad. That looks kind of delicious. Oh, very nice. Okay, that will be two dollars and fifteen cents. Okay, here you go. Uh, okay, now I'm waiting, and then he comes up with the sign from. Sorry, your onion ch green chili salad. He opens the box. What am I supposed to do with this? Am I supposed to take this home and like put it in the food that I'm gonna cook next? Am I supposed to take this home? and stare at it and start crying or am I supposed to take this home and shove it up my EMOTIONAL DAMAGE Hulk these days Marvel Avengers Wibbly Bopping Pals okay uh, so basically you're getting a Hulk balloon and it turns into like one of those you know the balls that you could hit back and forth yeah it turns into one of that but as soon as I inflate it my Hulk turns into Shrek Shrek with hair. Not even. It just looks like a green balloon with eyes and hair. And a white mustache. It don't, what, like, the teeth aren't even, it looks like they just put paint on it. Like, if you're making a high quality superhero 
into like a balloon figurine or whatever you're trying to make, at least work hard because that hero has a reputation to stand up to. I mean, in the big, in the advertisement, the head is kind of big and all that, but this is like disrespecting the hero. Have you seen Hulk? How how mad would Hulk be? Why didn't you just make your box smaller? Like, what? Why? Like, when I... And, and, and the funny thing is, look at the box in the back, right? And then look at the thing that they gave you. They put the items in a specific place where if I were to put it back in the box, you would see the items, but you wouldn't see the stuff around it. So basically, they did this on purpose. Notice how, like, how perfectly that... This area right here... Right here, you guys can't see, but right here would fit inside of this small opening right here where it would look like it's full to the brim with stuff that you could put on your bracelet. And as soon as you pull it out, you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 compartments in a box that could hold like 50 compartment compartments. You're down by 37 or 33, I forgot how many there were, 13 or 30 or 17. And it, 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 it's just annoying that you decided to deceive the child that wanted to get like an awesome bracelet. At least don't do this with children. Shouldn't trust the package. I'm not gonna lie, this has happened to me before. Uh, I bought a candy cane one time and it looked really awesome with all the colors on the packaging and as soon as I open it I get a white stick. I get a white cane. And it was still candy, I still ended up eating it but it hurts on the inside. It hurts deep down. When you want the decorations and the design to go around and you lick it and it starts melting in your mouth and you get the different flavors because the, the dots on it are like different flavors and this happens like why why would you do this to children products like things that that's something that a child would use something that a child would want to eat and they want it due to the nice colors on it and as soon as they rip it open they just get a white stick a white candy cane with nothing on top how how upset do you think that child will be right now Oh, the 17 one is just ouch. On top, they give you a half foot longer sandwich that has lettuce, the tuna, it's, I see parts chicken, I see cucumber, and I see tomatoes. And as soon as you scroll down and you open it, you get like a piece of bread with white turd on top of it. That does not look appetizing. The person that wanted to buy this saw the thing on top. And as soon as he opens his packaging, he gets that turd at the bottom on two pieces of Italian bread will that I like what did you make what did you do I I'm, I'm confused by these people that make awesome packaging and then they advertise it like it's so amazing and as soon as the person that buys it they get that Will he ever buy it from you again? Will he think of like, maybe next time I'll hungry I'll buy the same thing? No, I would never have done that. I would, I would be so upset opening this. Like, I would be hungry, but as soon as I see this, I would have been so upset, I would have just tossed it into the trash. I wouldn't even want to eat that. That does not look like something you would want to eat. I would just th toss it in the trash, I would go over to McDonald's, buy a zinger, because no matter what, that is going to taste better than whatever this is. Okay guys, this is going to be the last one for today's video, and they have an Xbox controller cookie. It, it's a cookie in packaging. Uh, it's made into an Xbox One controller, I'm assuming, because it's white. I'm, I think it's an Xbox One. I'm not good with the gaming consoles. With the nice buttons and everything, and... What the hell is that? From what, what, I expect pastry chefs to know what they're doing.
at least, at least they could have aligned the stuff properly. The X is going somewhere else. The one controller is going somewhere else. The second one is going somewhere else. The buttons are elsewhere. What is going on in this cookie? Is it a cookie? Is it a cake? I can't even tell. It just looks like they threw icing on top of butter paper and they gave it to you with two lines of an X and dots on top. Like, what is that even supposed to be? That does not look like a controller at all. That just looks like... That is... I, I can't even explain what that looks like. I, I don't have the proper words to explain this monstrosity of a cookie. It doesn't even look like a cookie or a cake, whatever the hell it is. It just looks like they just straight up icing the piece of paper for you and like, hey, eat it. Here, there you go. Weird people in this world. Anyway, that was the last one. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction video. If you did, do leave a comment down below. Th tell me what I should react to next and don't forget to hit the like button down below don't forget to get to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon for notifications that is enough from me Basitdar Bot Bot 101 signing off see y'all in the next video